Hi, let's see how we can generate an API token using an advanced REST client. To begin, go ahead and download and launch the app. You can find the advanced REST client by going to the Chrome Web Store. Once you install it and launch the app, it should look something like this. And from here, you want to use the post method. We're going to be grabbing some information from Caspio in order to get that token. The first thing that I recommend that you do is go to Caspio's knowledge base. Once you reach the knowledge base, go ahead and copy this text. The way you get to this is by going to Web Services API, REST API, and then authenticating REST API. Once you reach this screen, copy this text, go back to the client, and paste that in the body section. Next thing that you need to do is go to Caspio, and you need to grab the request URL, and also the client ID and the client secret. Now this is very sensitive information, so when you grab this information, you don't want to share this with anybody because if you do, they can gain access to your account and be able to manipulate your tables, your data, and anything else pertaining to your account. So let's go to my Caspio account. The first thing that you need to do is go to account, click on access permissions, then click on web services profiles, and set up a brand new profile. Give it a name, I'm gonna call mine REST auth for authentication. You can also provide a description if you want to. We give you two different protocols. You have the REST and SOAP, and then Caspio is going to generate the endpoint URL, documentation URL, the client ID, and the client secret. The first thing you want to copy is the very top line. So grab that token, go back to your client, and paste that at the very top. Next thing you need to do is get the client ID and the client secret and replace both of these two options. So back inside Caspio, first let's grab the client ID and replace everything, including the brackets. Go back to Caspio again, and then grab the client secret, copy it, and replace it here at the very end. Now before you hit send, make sure you go back to Caspio one last time and click on create, otherwise it's not going to generate that token for you. So click on create. Okay, there's my profile, go back to your client, click on send, and then you can see how we have a successful token generated. The information that you'll need under access token is everything in between the quotes, it's a lengthy ID, so just grab all of that information in between the quotes and copy it, and you can set that aside in a notepad or Word document, now in order to test this, Caspio also provides a console, a very popular console. If we click on properties, you'll notice something called documentation URL. Copy this link, paste it in the tab, and this is a very popular developer console for testing the API. From here you can authorize to give Swagger access to your Caspio account to be able to look at data tables, applications, and be able to manipulate the data inside Caspio. Now once again, grab that value that you just generated, that token. Let me go back to my client, copy that key one more time, and paste that value. Click on uh, Authorize, and you will notice the confirmation message says Authorize. You can close that screen now. And just to test this out, just so you can see how it works inside the console, Let's say that we wanted to get all the applications. It's going to return the list of all the applications inside my Caspio account. We click on Get, try it out, execute, and you'll notice down below that now Swagger UI was able to pull all of that information from my Caspio account. And you can see how it lists all the applications along with some general information pertaining to each app. Once you have that token, you can use it to gain access to your Caspio account and it allows you to send data back and forth between your Caspio account and any other third-party solution if you wish to send data back and forth. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any additional questions or comments, let us know in the comments section. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. And for additional videos and articles, check out our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching and have a good day.